Whoa. There's Jane's bike with the panniers. Yep. There's my cod one with the 30 odd six Tika. Bear spray, water. I broke one of my water bottles, bring it in here. We got these salsa racks. I have one liter there. And a stirry pen. There's a boy with the vinyl bro. Here's my trailer. That's with my Kuyu pack, a tent, and a bunch of stuff. And on the road there, have to expand it. There's Katie and James. Katie's got a stroller, baby carriage thing, carry 100 pounds. James has a yak type. So we're going in to look for mountain caribou. If we get one, we're probably going to have to abandon our load and bring it out in a couple of trips. The mountain caribou is as big as an elk. And uh, Jane's hoping we don't get one. I'm half hoping we don't get one. <laughs> Katie goes either way. No, James no. wants to get one. I want to get one. Yeah? Yes. Okay. The young. And we're off 10 kilometers, mostly uphill on the way there. And away we go. How's it going, Jane? Um, really well. There's my trailer. Bike and wake. You can see the old the trail. Look at the ruts they put in it. It was really wet here last year. So those ruts are three, four feet deep. Okay, there's a tent side view. This is a three-man tent. We got two three-man tents on this trip. But somehow we have visitors. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this was our camp, a bit of grizzly sign, but uh, we felt pretty safe there. And then we were in the morning ready to take off again. And here we go. Okay, we're at the halfway point. Woo! Uh, if we got a caribou, problem with these mountain caribou is they're the size of elk. We'd have uh, probably 200 and even cut up, we probably have 200 plus pounds of stuff to carry. Uh, we'd have to walk most of the way, but we're only going in 10 K. Did she unhook the trailer herself? I guess so. Hi. There are worse things in the world than the mighty butthole. Those are words of wisdom. And the butthole, of course, is a type of sandwich that you take with you. You gotta stay hydrated. So we went the next uh, three kilometers, made it uh, to uh, our glassing spot and we spent about two three hours there it was nice and windy and cool up there uh, no caribou lots of grizzly sign maybe those things are connected some of the grizzlies uh, scat had hair in it so we think there's maybe some predation good job Kate good job Always has to be at least one repair job. The trailer uh, broke, put it together with some wooden pins and some tape, and it seemed to hold pretty good. No caribou, but we made it back. 20 Ks all total, or maybe a little more as the as we ride. That's up a hill. I can't believe this held. This was held into place. Two rivets broke. Held into place with some tape and and two, uh, two little uh, pieces of dwarf willow shaped and driven into the hole, into the rivet holes. 
and that lasted us uh, 7.5Ks. So, we're back. Always have tape <laughs> and twist ties. All right, thanks.